nurses, bankers, accountants and teachers. They've come together from all walks of life to join the Army Reserves. After a two-week basic training course, they proudly march onto the parade square with the band of the Parachute Regiment playing Christmas songs. The reviewing officer today was Major General Ranald Munro. He's also a reservist and works as a barrister in Civvy Street. He was there to inspect the parade. The course that the reservists completed included everything they need to know to fulfil their role within the Army Reserve, including drills, shooting, weapon handling, first aid and map reading. It's been an excellent two weeks. It's been difficult, it's demanding. They've got a lot to learn and take in in two weeks, um, but they've stepped up to the challenge and it's been a fantastic way to the end of the year for both uh, myself and the instructors. Several awards were presented, including Best Overall Recruit, that went to Private Kim Haynes. The whole lifestyle, really, the camaraderie, the friends, um, doing exciting things that you'd never get to do in Civvy Street, and there's, there's so many possibilities and opportunities that come up. There may be 50 Army Reserves passing out here today, but the government needs thousands more, 30,000 in fact, by 2018. I caught up with Major General Ronald Monroe after the parade and asked him what the appeal is for civilians to join the Army Reserves. Why civilians would want to join the Army Reserve uh, in the future is exactly why they joined the TA in the past, what used to be known as the TA in the past, and that is uh, leading a life less ordinary, doing something completely different that actually money can't buy. You'll be with uh, men and women who share a shared values and standards, the ethos of the British Army, doing progressive, challenging, rewarding training, pushing you yourself beyond that which you think you could achieve. Um, that is why that proposition has always been there and will continue to be there in the future, and actually even more so with more opportunities serving alongside regulars at home and abroad. Recruiting reservists at the moment is slower than they may be anticipated. Why do you think that is? I think it's clearly a challenge. 30,000 uh, from a baseline currently of 20,000 trained soldiers by 2018 is a challenge. It's absolutely doable. Um, we've looked at Australia, Canada, America. They have a larger percentage of their armed forces uh, constituted by reserves. We're trying to match something like that. So we can see other people have done it. When I joined the TA in 1987-88, it was 78,000 strong, so there are historic norms to these numbers. This is not out with what is possible. So you don't think the reserve plans were in trouble then? No, they're not in trouble. I mean, I, I think when you have any new process in place, there are teething problems. You know, whether you're, you're a, an aircraft manufacturer you know, or a new weapon system, there are teething problems and you have to modify. And we're in the process of modifying the system and I'm confident, entirely confident, that it will deliver and we'll see, start seeing some of the, uh, uh, the fruits of our, the changes that we've made early next year. Back in the warm, proud friends and family cheered as the new reserves walked into the canteen. Abigail is a paramedic and decided to join to widen her medical experience. Something to do when, in your spare time rather than just a hobby, but more of a, more of a demanding hobby. And for me, the main thing is clinical experience. I want to get lots of experience with trauma and in the hospital and take that back into my civilian job. Just as proud as punch of that, your heart's bursting out of your chest. It's amazing. It's just... Yeah, extremely proud, yeah. yeah. And very proud, yeah. So far, it would seem that joining the Army Reserves has not only been a fun experience, but also an interesting one. Making new friends, learning new skills, and looking forward to the adventures and any mission that could lie ahead of them. Along with the other thousands of civilians that the government hopes will join in the near future. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Grantham.